As we pause today to focus on the story of the foundations of our school, we acknowledge the foundational story of the Indigenous people of this land. The Ngunnawal people of the Bundjalung Nation have been custodians and caretakers of this land for thousands of years. In their culture, ownership and possession is not a primary concern. They place more value in a sense of community and belonging to the land. As we focus on the story of our school's past, present and future, we pay our respects to the elders and people of the Bundjalung Nation, past, present and emerging, as together we continue to write the story of this country and work toward a more fruitful sense of harmony, community and belonging to this great land. Welcome to Foundation Day 2020. Today we'd normally be gathering in Naria for a service to mark the foundation of our school. Uh, we'd be celebrating by planting a tree, sharing in some morning tea, and of course running the Smithy Sprint. With COVID-19, none of that's possible this year, but we're still together in spirit. We still celebrate the birth of our school and we retell the story of the founding of Lindisfarne Anglican Grammar School. Back in the late 1970s, in fact, October 1979, I believe the first meeting was held uh, with Kenan Ron Dyson and the parishioners of St. Cuthbert's Anglican Parish Tweed Heads uh, to share dreams and hopes and aspirations for a school for the children of the parish and for the children of the Tweed Coast. Now that dream gathered momentum with, with some support from the Tweed Head South Bowling Club from Twin Towns and of course from the Diocese of Grafton. A few years later uh, the school started but not in the way you might have imagined. On the 2nd of February 1981 first classes were held but the buildings at Sunshine Avenue were not ready and the church hall doubled as a classroom. In fact, the bubblers are still there today. By the 4th of March, 1981, the first building had arrived on the back of a truck at Sunshine Avenue, Tweed Head South, and from very humble beginnings, our school launched into its history as St. Cuthbert's Christian Community School, the school we now know as Lindisfarne. Those early foundations and those days of planning and building and developing the Sunshine Avenue campus were, were days of hope, um, days of risk, um, days where often Ken and Ron and the parish acted on faith alone. But out of those um, commitments and shared vision, the school as we know it today emerged. We're proud of our school, Lindisfarne Anglican Grammar School. And this year we celebrate our 39th Foundation Day. Eventually the school did open. It opened on the 28th of April, 1981. And it's around this date each year that we celebrate Foundation Day. Have a terrific Foundation Day 2020 wherever you are and join with me in celebrating our proud history as we move towards our 40th year in 2021. Understanding your story and your history is an important part of any community's sense of identity and purpose. And so each year Foundation Day affords us the opportunity to retell our story and to build on our story as we learn more about how we came to be where we are. Our theme for Foundation Day is building on a solid foundation. We have a very solid foundation on which to continue building. Mr Marquette has already outlined the beginning of the process and the rest of this video is intended to tell a little more of the story, to provide another piece of the puzzle. We hope that you enjoy what follows and learn something about the history and evolution of the school that we enjoy and continue to grow and develop. Today, we remember and give thanks for where we have come from. We celebrate who we are and where we are. 
and we look to the future with hope and expectation as we journey on together. It was right here on this very fence line where a really important conversation took place that helped pave the way for the foundations of our school. Canon Ron was standing on that side of the fence, the manager of the bowling club on this side of the fence, and they talked about the grand scheme of developing this Christian school in the area. They agreed that the bowling club would loan the parish $50,000 to be able to acquire the land at Sunshine Avenue. But once they saw the amazing work that was being done, once the school had actually started, that $50,000 loan became a gift. And in today's money, $50,000 is about $200,000. So that was an incredible gift from the bowling club to the church to be able to establish the school. That conversation took place right here about 40 years ago. So this is the St Cuthbert's Anglican Church church building. And right next door to it is the hall, which is, I guess, like the social functions event centre for the church. They've both been here since the early 70s. And this hall is actually where school had to start because of the building delay. And there's something really cool over here. You've got to come with me. When they realised that the school buildings weren't going to be here for the start of school in February of 1981, they decided to hold classes in the hall here until such time as the buildings arrived and were fitted out. So they had to make sure that the building was fitted out for the, all of the regulations and they attached bubblers so that there was a constant source of drinking water for the kids that were here and I love the fact that those bubblers are still here today so for anybody who's going past going for a walk anybody who needs to go to the hospital we really are in the center of town and the bubblers that were erected originally for the school children back in 1981 are still here and available for people today the hall was used for the first month of classes in 1981 from the 2nd of february to the 4th of march because the buildings at Sunshine Avenue were in the process of being delivered and mounted and fitted with electricity and water. There were four classes. There were a kindergarten, a year one, two, a year three, four, and a year five, six. And I was just actually just thinking just then, all of the school fitted in uh, where they have the music lessons there now. The playground was pretty rough and there wasn't a lot of concrete there either. There would have been a strip of concrete as big as what the demountables are now, up, up beside the demountables. Yeah, everything else was just grass. There was a small office where the principal was. There was a very small staff room, probably as big as what my office is there now. That was all within that original building. So back then, you know, they were small, you know, just small composite classes. Then when they went into single stream, I remember some of the classes with only 13 or 14 children in each class. So there were only four teachers. The principal was a teaching principal at that stage. It, it sounds like a long time to be there since 1983, but the school has changed and evolved so many times over that period, and it, it continues to evolve now. As the school grew and succeeded, it became necessary to look for more space. And that led to the acquiring and developing of the land at Mars Lane. Some may remember from our 2018 Foundation Day celebration that Mr Bedford spoke about his dad, John, who was the rector of St Cuthbert's during the late 80s and the early 90s. And he was very heavily involved in driving that part of our school story. Mars Lane opened in 1996 and has continued to grow, flourish and expand ever since. We've only been celebrating Foundation Day as an event since 2017. Mr. Marquette and I both thought it was really important to introduce this ritual celebration for our community. So when we started talking to people and hearing stories about the evolution of the school, one of the lost gems that was brought to our attention was this event called the Smithy Sprint. It was named in honour of the first principal of this site, Mrs. Peter Smith, and it was basically a timed running trial that students and staff were invited to participate in. And it went all the way from the bottom oval to the top of the top car park using the stairs and the ramps along the way. 
We're still not entirely sure when or why the Smithy Sprint stopped being held, but when we heard about it, we thought, what a great addition to our Foundation Day celebration. So even though we can't physically run it this year, it will continue to be a part of the annual Foundation Day celebrations, along with the planting of a tree. In 2017, we planted a lone pine tree, which has pride of place on the hill at the centre of the Mars Lane campus. And in 2018 and 2019, fruit trees were planted near the Trade Skills Centre. This is a symbolic action and reminder of our hope for the continual future growth of our school community. A fruit tree is also a symbolic reminder of our hope that present and future students will go into the world from this place and continue to grow in body, mind and spirit, and that they might also continue to develop the fruits of the spirit. More than anything, the observance of Foundation Day is about telling our story and inspiring gratitude for everything that has been gifted to us over the years. So many people and so much commitment and hard work has resulted in the community and the facilities that we now enjoy and continue to build upon. It's important to remember where we've come from. It's important to celebrate and be thankful for where we are. And it's important to look with faith and hope to our future and who we will continue to become. Loving God, we thank you that we are here and that you have called us to be a part of the Lindisfarne community. We thank you for inspiring the dedication and commitment of all people involved in making our school what it is today. May we continue to build on the solid foundation which has been laid for us and let our light shine in our community and your world today and every day.